Hey, what's going on? My name is Brandon Fisher. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how to go live with the manual stream key. Now we are actually integrated with Facebook. You can actually connect your Facebook account, but in some situations you might want to go live manually. And that's what this video is for. In fact, somebody might've given you a stream key and asked you to push their video live, or you might not be an admin to a place that you're trying to go live. Or like I said, you might not even have access to be able to connect your Facebook account. So this is a great tutorial on how to do all of that. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out though, is make sure that if someone is sending you a stream key that you get the streaming URL from them and also the stream key. Cause you're gonna need both of those so that we can actually show you how to take your video and push it live to Facebook. So let's get started. So I am inside of Facebook right now. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and click on my groups that's over here on the sidebar. Uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this testing group. And we have actually created a group for us to be able to go inside of and do a bunch of testing. And you could totally set one of these up for yourselves uh, when you're also testing your videos if you don't wanna actually go live to let's say your actual page or your actual group. This is a great way to come in here and to be able to do a bunch of testing ahead of time. So from here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and click live video. And what this will do is this will bring up the live producer. Uh, it's just confirming that we're gonna be going live to this group. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and click next. So the default here is to actually use the camera, which we actually don't want. We're gonna do the second option here, which is use stream key. Now, if I go ahead and scroll down, I'm gonna see a server URL and a stream key. These two things are what we need. So let's bounce over to live pigeon. This is asking us where do we wanna go live today, but since we're getting the stream key, we actually don't have to be connected to any one of these accounts. In fact, if you haven't already, if you go down underneath the dashboard to the incubator, this is your video library. This is such a nice convenient place to be able to start uploading your video files into. And if you haven't yet, I would encourage you to do that. Upload your videos into here, in fact, I've already done that just to save us the time on this video of watching the video upload. Um, they're already done in advance. And so what I'm gonna do here, you can see that there's a three dot underneath each one of these videos that I've already uploaded. If I actually click on this, the only option it gives us is stream key. Um, and again, if we were connected to any one of these, it would give us other options. But for this video, since we're only gonna go live with the stream key, I'm gonna go ahead and click stream key it then brings up this window here. It gives us the option to put in a stream URL. So now I'm gonna go back to the Facebook tab here. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy on the server URL, and we're gonna paste that into where it says URL. And on my keyboard, I'm just hitting Command V. You could have also right clicked and did paste, right? So let, in fact, let me do that on this next one as I get the stream key. The nice thing is Facebook has this built in, this nice copy button. So it's copying everything for you. I can go ahead and right click and say paste. Great, and now uh, we're gonna give it a reference name. Now the reference name is how it's going to be displayed uh, inside a live pigeon. So uh, make this so that you will recognize what this is. So for example, I'm gonna say manual stream key training. So now that I've gone ahead and put in the streaming URL and the stream key, gave it a reference name, uh, because this example is for go live now, uh, we're not gonna pay attention to the schedule part. And now we're ready to go live now. But the thing is, we're actually not gonna press this button yet because as soon as we do, the video file is gonna start playing and we're not ready for it yet on Facebook. So we gotta make sure that we're ready on Facebook. So let's jump back over to Facebook and finish the last steps that we need to be able to go live. Inside the live producer, now that we've already gone ahead and grabbed the server URL and stream key, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the title and the description of the video that we're gonna be going live with. So now that I filled out my title and my description, this is a great place if you wanted to add cross posting or if you wanted to share it to other places, uh, you know, this is the place that allows you to do it. But for this, we've already filled out our title and description and then we're gonna go ahead and click next. And notice here at the bottom, it's grayed out, right? It means that we cannot go live. What we have to do now is go back to Live Pigeon. And from here, we're actually gonna go ahead and click go live now. And as soon as we do go live now, we then have to bounce back to Facebook and then click go live. I'm gonna click go live now. 
we're then going to jump over to Facebook. And as soon as it recognizes that there is a signal there, it turned blue. I'm going to go ahead and click it to go live now. And there we are, you guys. We are live right now inside of Live Pigeon. How cool is that? So this is now streaming live. And if I go back now to Live Pigeon, so right here on the completed page, it says that we are live right now. And then right here is that reference name that we put in. Uh, it says what time it departed at. And if we go back to Facebook here, uh, we are live. There's nothing else that we really have to do. I might actually end up just opening a new tab here, going over to Facebook. Let's open up and find that group that we're actually, oh, there it is. There we are, we are live right now. In fact, I can click on this. But there you have it, you guys. You saw how easy that was. I had already had a video that was uploaded into the incubator. I copied and pasted the streaming URL and stream key. I clicked go live now. And then I had to go over to Facebook and click go live now. And look at that, you guys. We are live right now inside of Facebook, which is really cool. So that's how easy it is to be able to go live with a stream key. You just have to go over to Facebook, get the stream key, plug that into Live Pigeon, and then once you do that, you have to click Go Live Now, and then go over to Facebook and click Go Live Now. And so that's the Go Live Now, but what I want to do now is transition and show you how to do the exact same thing, but just scheduling out our videos. Because that is the power of Live Pigeon, is the fact that you can schedule your content of when you want to go live. So let's jump into this. Let's jump in and click this Live Video button again. In the first example, we just went go live, but on this one, we actually want to schedule when we're going to be going live with our video. So I'm going to click on this button and then go ahead and click next. Inside the live producer, now that we've clicked on the schedule, this has changed to now schedule. I wanted to point something out under here. It says schedule a live video. A second ago, this said schedule a live video event. And I want to make sure that when you guys are scheduling your content that you don't have it as an event. We actually want it as a video. This actually gave me the option to switch it to a live video right here. And I've already done and clicked that. So I just want to make sure that things then change, right? Uh, based off of if this is an event or, or just going live with the video. And so I want to make sure that you understand like where that is to make that switch here. Um, now that I've gone ahead and made that switch, I'm going to go ahead and put in the date that I want this to go live. In fact, I want to go live and let's say Friday at 2 p.m. Now that I've picked the time that I want to go live, I filled out my title and my description. I can then upload an image. I actually have some photos here. Just like that. And now I'm ready to go ahead and schedule my live video. All right, now this is a good time to point out that they only actually give you the stream key on this page. And if you need that streaming URL, then what I need you to do is to go and click this home button, go into the go live now to then get the streaming URL to then come back in on the schedule so that you have the streaming URL and the stream key. The nice thing is once you actually generate the streaming URL, it doesn't change, uh, which is nice. It's all based off of the region that you're in. So if you're in a certain part of the US, it's going to be the same streaming URL. Um, but the stream key itself changes. That's the most important part, right? So what I wanted to do is just make sure I point that out. And if you have any questions, refer to the first part of this video. Uh, but on this, what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the stream key. We're going to jump over to Live Pigeon. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the three dots under the video that I want to go live with. I'm going to go ahead and click stream key. Now, this is going to be very similar to what we did on the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and click inside the streaming URL. So now that I've pasted my streaming URL and my stream key, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fill out my reference name. Now that I've given it a reference name, we're going to go ahead and click on this button that says schedule for later. And it's going to bring up a calendar. From here, I'm going to scroll down. And I'm actually going to be able to choose the date that I want to go live, the time and the date, uh, which I said was, I believe it was Friday at 2 p.m. And I'm just going to type in the values here. So Friday, 2 p.m. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click schedule. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Facebook here inside the live producer and make sure that I match the same time. So for example, uh, I just want to make sure that, yep, it is Friday at 2 p.m. And when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click create post. This is a pop-up that's just saying that it's been successfully scheduled. So I'm going to go ahead and click close. So now that I've done that, I can go back to Facebook here and I can open up. Oh, here it is. I'm going to go live. Now, let's say I didn't want this thumbnail. Do you see this pencil icon underneath? If I click on that. So now that we're inside the live producer, I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots and I'm going to click edit post. It then brings us into this window. If I scroll down here, see where it says select an image. I'm actually going to go ahead and click on that. And then I can upload an image here that I already have. And I like that a lot better. So now this is the one I'm going to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and click update post. And again, you just want to make sure that the date and the time that you chose matches on Live Pigeon. So I'm going to click close. And I'm going to go back to Live Pigeon here. And we're just going to make sure that it's going to depart at 2 o'clock. And again, here's my reference name. And everything is good to go. It's inside the scheduled area, which means I've scheduled the video. Everything's ready to go. And we will check back in later to make sure that the video actually went live at the desired time. Now, the cool thing about scheduling your video content is that you don't have to go in like you did on the go live now, where you have to go in and press the go live now button. When you schedule, the video will automatically go live for you at that time. So it makes your life a little bit easier in that when you schedule the time you want it to go live, then that's what Live Pigeon will do is it'll send it out at that same time and you don't have to do anything else. And so uh, that's it for this video. And that's how to go live with the manual stream key. And again, if there's anything that we didn't cover, we have our phone number and our email at the bottom of this page. Feel free to reach out to us. We want to make sure that you understand how to get a hold of us because we want to make sure that you have the most success when going live with your video content. Thank you so much for using Live Pigeon. Until next time.